Okay, we're recording. So first of all, if you guys haven't heard about this incentive trip, which I'm pretty positive all of you have because it's like the bomb.com, anybody can earn this trip, okay? And we don't even know what trip we're going on. That's kind of like the exciting part is we don't even know where we're going. All we know is it's a resort takeover. About 300 people with ItWorks are gonna be chosen based on a point system, okay? And the point system's all in the team page. Um, if you're interested, or if you're interested, well, I'm like on my coffee story. Um, if you need info on that point system, um, ask your upline about it, or you can search it in the team page and find it. But I'm super excited about this because they've done some really easy things for us to earn points. One of them being the 80, um, nope, the 125 BV auto shipment. So every single month in our business, we run an 80 BV auto shipment, okay, to become commission qualified. If you're brand new and this is terrifying you, there is a secondary way to become commission qualified, and that is by getting 150 in personal bonus volume, okay? I don't want to tr turn this into a um, newbie training, but what I want to do is make sure that you guys understand this. If you up that just by 45 BV, I think, I'm terrible at math, but like, 125 BV, you guys love the products, you should be using them anyways. They're gonna give you 500 points towards this incentive trip, okay? And I don't know about you, but like I had a girl that just joined me today. I've been working on for almost a year, okay? And she just joined me today. And the reason why she joined me after almost a year is because I did a IGTV story today or IG, IGTV thing on my egg, whatever they're called. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, of the incentive trip. Like I was like, who wants to win a free trip and earn extra money? And she's like, the trip got me. I'm in. Like what? What? I couldn't even believe it. So make sure that you guys are like shouting this from the rooftops. I'm going to mute everybody one more time. Hold on one second. Um, second. Okay. So um, I'm just really excited about it because I think it's really cool that they're allowing it's anybody's game, right? And so if you've been having like a rough couple of months or maybe you've been like on fire and um, whatever it may be, like it's anybody's game. So we have a head start right now. Next weekend is green carpet. Here's another way to earn um, points, you guys, is you green carpet is sold out right now, okay? But you can um, go on your e-suite and go to live events, I believe. Ash, can you put that in the chat? Um, live events, and you're going to purchase the live stream. I think it's only $20, you guys, and you have like up to 30 days to watch it. Purchase it. First of all, it's a business expense, okay? And it's something that is so important for you. Like they're gonna be announcing new products. They're gonna be announcing um, all sorts of things, like all sorts of things. So. Make sure that you do that. And that is also a, like on the point system. If anybody knows, drop it in the chats because I don't remember um, I don't remember how many points it is, but I know it's points towards the trip. Those are so easy. You don't have to sign LCs or DTs. Boom, you already have some points, okay? So now, with signing loyal customers, this is really important that you guys understand this. And if I'm losing any of you, B, can you shut the door? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, he is um, <laughs> watching YouTube videos on how to like fix something on our trailer and I can hear it and it's distracting. So, um, what was I talking about, guys? Help me out here. You were about to start talking about um, loyal well, customers. Yes, loyal customers. So if you sign a loyal customer tonight, that's 100 points, right? Now, if you move that loyal customer, you are going to forfeit those points. You're giving those points to your whoever the distributor is that you move the LC under, okay? Most of you might be going like, oh, that sucks. Like, why? I don't understand. Hear me out. Every single person in this company, including VIPs, including top income earners, including everybody and their mother, moves their LCs. It makes more sense. You are going to make more money on your paycheck, which is why we're in this business, right? By moving your loyal customers. So do not like have a fit about moving a hundred points. One, you're helping a teammate also get to go on this trip, right? With points. And two, where you're going to earn way more points than a hundred is 
by um, enrolling a distributor. Okay. There's 200 points there. And then um, also by helping them get to 400 by the end of the month, you get within 30 days, I think you get even more points. Anyways, I'm not like a points guru. You guys, I might be butchering some of this, but my point is it makes more sense to move your LCs. Don't freak out about losing those points. Just um, be smart about how you're building those points. Okay. So me personally, I'm going all DTs all the way, which is how I always am, right? DTs bring in volume. You want DTs and you want to build rubies. If you build a personally enrolled ruby, you don't need those little hundred points from your loyal customers. Okay. So what is happening? You, I think you turn on the light in her room, babe. If you do all lights on, you do. It's chaos. It's chaos everywhere. Um, see anyways. So <laughs> in case you wanted to laugh tonight, um, this incentive trip, I'm just super excited about. And I, wanted to tell you guys like what we have our hands on because I know we've told you about it before, obviously, and everybody's kind of excited, but I feel like it's been like a whole week now it's gone by a week and a half or so. And it's kind of like, eh, well, if we get it, we get it. And it's even harder because if we don't know where we're going, okay, if you're agreeing, you're like, I need details. I need to know where we're going. I need to know when it is. I need to know if my team's coming with me. Like you need to know all these questions. No, here's the thing. Work your business. Like it is the last day of the month every single day and the points are going to follow. The points are just gonna come. Here's the thing, do your job and the points come, right? So don't worry about like, oh, I'm not getting any points right now. Like just do the work and the points are going to follow you. Okay, so that's the first thing that I wanted to say. Um, the second thing I wanted to tell you is what I've been hearing, I wouldn't say a lot of, um, Angel private messaged me about that. That sucks that she quit. That must mean that she canceled out totally, but private message me about that. And I'll talk to you about it later. Um, anyways, so what's working right now? I've heard quite a bit of like, okay, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. What could I possibly doing be doing more? Like I'm not understanding. I'm not signing. So here's the thing. When we have those seasons of like, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing and nothing is working, there's one of two things that is happening. Either one, and you guys know I call it how it is, you, you are either not working the way that you think you're working, okay? So write down what you did that day. Write down what you did that week. Are you truly putting in the effort that this business takes every single day? Because there are days where I find myself thinking about the business constantly because Huntley did not nap today, okay, period. She was a flipping mess the last like three hours of the evening. And when I finally got her down, I'd been thinking about work like all day. Like I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I gotta do this. And I was almost exhausted. I got to work a little bit earlier today. But my point is like, I was almost exhausted of like, I've been working so hard. But, but you haven't been, Rochelle, like, <laughs> like you worked a little bit this morning and you like signed a loyal customer and everything's great and you're going to be able to work tonight. But like, because you're thinking about it and you're thinking of all these things that you need to do, your mind is like tricking you that you're actually putting in the work. What did you really do today? What did you really do that was income producing? Okay. Ask yourself those questions. Those are really important questions. Um, and you can kind of, you know, take a step back and be like, okay, yeah, I, I need to write all these things down and I need to get to work. Okay. The second thing is that if you truly are doing everything that you're supposed to be doing and you're still not seeing results, that's what we call a planting season. Okay. So there's one of two things wrong with this. It's either a planting season because you are just talking to so many potentials right now and, um, everything is going great and they're all going to harvest or two, you're talking to so many potentials right now, but your mindset isn't quite where it needs to be. Okay. So you might not even realize that you're subconsciously kind of like pushing people off. Um, one thing for me is like, I personally think that something as simple as like an exclamation point or a question mark or like whatever, like emojis or excitement in your texts will seal the deal or will not seal the deal. So if you're having an off day and you're kind of like, yeah, here, the coffee is this price. Okay. Obviously nobody says it like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like if you're just like really quickly, like the coffee is this price and then you just kind of like set your phone down and you do whatever. Or if you're like, Oh my gosh, as a nine day product model, you're going to get this pricing with like a heart 
hard eyes with like a bunch of exclamation points, you guys, they feel that excitement and you might think I'm crazy, but trust me, it signs loyal customers. They feel that excitement through the text. If you can voice message even better. Okay. So, um, that's another thing. If you're going through kind of like a little, um, I don't, I don't like the word slump, so I'm not even going to use it. But if you're going through a planting season, figure out how you can up your game just a little bit more, maybe a half hour more a day, or just making sure that you're um, doing just a little bit more. So one thing that um, I've had a couple of conversations about this um, lately, and Ash, I want you to touch, or I want you to like um, jump in here if you have anything to add on this one. But there are a lot of times where I feel like we, oh, the AC just kicked on. It's kind of loud. Um, where I feel like we are not, how do I even explain this? Our mindsets kind of get us down of like we got out of the, maybe it's even two days. Let's just use two days as an example. We kind of got out of like, posting every single day for those two days. Maybe we forgot to post for two days, or maybe we didn't message for two days. The goal here is to keep your inbox full. Always, you guys, that's your goal. You want your inbox full. You want to be able to not get to those messages for a little bit because you're so busy. Okay. But don't forget about posting. Don't forget about all your other things like your self-development, um, like you're interacting. It all goes hand in hand. And if you're slacking on one thing, you're going to notice that it's not going to, it's not going to be fluid. Okay. You might send a message to somebody asking them if they want to make an extra income from home. And then you might go to your page and be like, well, she hasn't posted in like four days. I don't even know what she does. You see what I'm saying? But if you posted that day, she's going to be like, oh my gosh, what does she do? She was able to be at Cracker, I can't even say that. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Thanks me. <laughs> Cracker Barrel with her. Um, with her family all day. Hold on. I got to mute everything again. I get really distracted. Not all day. See, I was distracted. I wasn't at Cracker Barrel all day, you guys. Um, we were able to do whatever we wanted with our day. Okay. And they might see that and be like, oh my gosh, like, um, you know, I can't believe that she was able to do that. I want to know more about what she does. But if you haven't posted in a couple of days and maybe it wasn't even about the business, how are they going to know about that? Okay. If you're not interacting, then, um, people aren't going to be seeing your posts. So they all kind of go hand in hand. Um, what was my point of this? Oh, my point is when you start feeling out of whack, then you kind of start panicking. Like, where do I start? What do I do? Like, I know I have follow-ups to do, but I also have new messages to send out. Like which one's more important. And sometimes I battle that. I'm like, am I supposed to send out new messages because I haven't got out in a couple days or do I go back to all the other people or is it too late to follow up? Like, I don't know if you guys do this, but I do this all the time where I'm just like, I don't know where to start because I just feel so behind, even if it's one day. So my suggestion to you guys is to sit down and force yourself to go through your follow-ups all the way until your fingers fall off, literally. Okay. Go all the way back until you literally cannot message anymore. So if you have people back from January, maybe start in January. If you want to go all the way back, stir the dust. I don't know if you guys have seen Jade Hooper's, um, video, stir the dust. Ashley, will you put that in the chats? But, um, I want you to like search it and go watch it tonight if you haven't, because it's so amazing. And it just kind of brings all those old potentials that maybe you dropped the ball on, or maybe they, maybe you followed up with them five or six times, but yet they're still not, you know, in it. Stirring the dust kind of brings them back into being that potential again. So, um, that's not wasted time at all. Anyways, um, when you work, okay, I'm going to say this very slowly. When you work, you sign. Okay. It happens to me every single time, all month long. Okay. It's the 11th all month long. I've been like, I have only signed. I know this might sound like if some of you haven't signed anybody this month, that's okay. Okay. So hear me out. I was sitting here. Like I have only signed two distributors and one loyal customer. Most of the time by the 11th, I have already completed my steps to success. This is just me. I have already completed my steps, steps to success sometimes even twice by now. And I was being really hard on myself and I wasn't understanding, you know, our team is going for top 20. You guys, we are going to be at Costa Rica and I have been working my butt off, but why have I not signed anybody? 
I've been so focused on sending so many new messages and so focused on getting my page right and so focused on getting my followers up and my attraction marketing that I have not been following up the way that I used to. Okay, and for me, following up every day. When you follow up every day, you sign. So what did I do today? I sat at Ashley's house because our trailer was getting um, worked on and I was following up, following up, following up. I signed two DTs and one LC. What did I do differently? I worked. I got to flip and work. I stopped thinking about, I stopped overthinking about what I need to be doing and like, where do I start? And like, I'm so overwhelmed. What do I do? I opened up my calendar. I went to yesterday's date. And I started following up with everybody that I talked to all the way up to the top of this month. And I signed two DTs and one LC and a fat LC too. So again, all I did was get to work and do the things that you know that you need to do. So I challenge you tonight. If you feel like you're not signing, if you feel like you're in a slump, if you feel like you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, and maybe you are follow up, stir the dust utilize the people that you've already spent the time on that you've already put work into and go harvest them and be excited about it and know right now say out loud y'all are muted so you can say it out loud right now i am going to sign an lc and a dt right now everybody say it. i want to see some mouths moving i am going to sign an lc and a dt Tonight, all of you are frozen, so I don't know if you're saying it to me, but I hope you are. Tonight, before you go to bed, okay, some of y'all back home, it's only like 6.30 p.m., so you better be doing that. If, you're, if it's almost 10 p.m. like it is here, I'm going to be up with you guys, and I am so excited for all of you. Like, seriously, just saying things out loud is so powerful. The power of prayer is so powerful. Just getting your mind where it needs to be is super powerful. Ashley, do you have anything you wanted to add? Yeah. Um, I think it's really funny that we all froze whenever we were talking. <laughs> I know, I'm like, you're not so weird. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think it was last night or maybe the night before. Uh, well, let me back up. So when I first joined the business 8,000 years ago, um, I, there were most of the leaders that I followed then are pretty, like, they're pretty much all still, I still follow them today and they're in like the top 10, 20, whatever. Well, um, <clears throat> one of them was Jocelyn Yates. And for any newbies who doesn't know who she is, um, she, she was top income earner, um, and she's awesome and great. Now, if you do know who she is and you've been following her for a little while, you might know that um, for in 2015, she was a top enroller every single month, DT and LC, every month top enroller. And her name was everywhere all the time. Like when you thought of top income earner, she was probably the first person that you thought of. And um, <laughs> anyway, so... I was watching a training from her last night because you like lately the past few events, I haven't really heard her name being called. And I was like, man, that's so weird. Like I wonder, cause I knew she was still in the business. I'm like, I wonder what's going on. Well, last night I went on her YouTube cause she has so many trainings. That's one thing that I love about her is she, all of her trainings she makes public for all of us to see. And, um, I happened to watch one that was so, it was just such an honest training, but like, it was also <clears throat> like, it was honest in the sense that she was like, you know, basically I started comparing myself. Like I, um, you know, here I am, I was a top enroller for so long and I was an ambassador diamond and this and that. And then all of a sudden, like I start looking around and, um, people are coming in left and right who have been in the business for five months and they're a top enroller, a top 20, a top 30, whatever. And she's like, and I just let it really get to me. And, um, she didn't really go into details about too much money wise. She just said that, you know, she did lose her rank at one point. Um, but that now she is 
signing between 15 and 20 DTs a month again. And um, that she is like now a top enroller once again. And she said the way she got there was literally, and we talk about this a lot, but it was literally by watching the people who were consistently a top enroller and um just getting close to them and by close to them I mean she would just you know look at their stories look at their posts like what are they doing differently um inviting them on zooms with her and she said and like she didn't name the people she was talking about it was like Shia Knox, Morgan Martin, Brittany Hayes um but she said the the thing is like when it came down to, okay, what are they doing differently than me? Like, are they, do they know something that I don't know? Is there a different message that they're using? Like, what is it? And, um, the bottom line was that they were all doing the same thing she was doing. They were just doing more of it. And she said, um, so she gave a couple of these statistics, which for me, this kind of stuff, I like, I don't know. It just like really clicks with me. Um, And so she said, you know, our business is a numbers game. First of all, it's a numbers game. All, every single one of us, we all sell the same products and we all present the same business opportunity. So Rochelle's two distributors that she signed today, um, she told them about the same company that all of us work for. And it was $99 for those two, just like, it is for us to tell people, you know, that how, that's how much it costs to join the business. Um, the difference is though, is Rochelle probably talked to more than two people today. Like the first two people she talked to weren't like, okay, yeah, I'm ready. Like, let's join, let me join the business. Um, and so she said Picasso. So these are just a couple of the examples that she gave. Um, Picasso, which I think probably every single person on this zoom knows who Picasso is, painted over 50,000 pictures in his lifetime, and only a few of them ever became famous. So think about that for a second. Seriously, everybody knows who Picasso is. We learn about Picasso in school. Um, But the amount of paintings it took for him to actually paint, for any of them to become famous or recognized, or to get any type of award for 50,000, like, and only a few, probably on one hand is how many that there, that how many paintings he has that are actually famous. Um, Dyson, it took them five, (coughs) sorry guys, I have like a weird cold going on. It took them 5,000 different type of vacuum cleaners to finally get the right Dyson vacuum cleaner that now is so popular that, you know, you can walk into a Best Buy and there's a whole wall of them. Um, and those like things like that just really are so eye opening to me because it's completely separate from our business and it's a completely different industry. But at the same time, like what would have happened if Dyson, if the people at Dyson after their 4,000 try they're like oh forget it like we're never gonna get the right vacuum cleaner they wouldn't be Dyson like they wouldn't be here today I I was trying to find the Starbucks statistic because I always love that one too like how many people like how many times it took for them to um finally find somebody who would invest in them um but it was a lot like it took a lot of people for them to go to until they somebody finally said yes Um, And so the point is, it is all a numbers game. And for me, that's a very comforting thing, because that means that I don't have to have any crazy skill set. Like I don't have to take any kind of classes to, to know how to complete my steps to success. Like we all know how to do it. If you're brand new, that's okay. You're learning and you'll continue learning. But the business itself is not hard. I mean, we have top income earners who are high school dropouts, college dropouts, ex-heroin addicts. Like we have people from all walks of life. And the only difference between those top enroller or the top income earners 
and you is just say, do it more. Like they just do more of what we all do. You know, like if you message 10 people for every 10 people you message an ambassador diamond is probably messaging 50. And so I don't know. I could keep rambling on and on about that, but basically all I'm trying to tell you guys is it's a numbers game. Everybody can do this business. It's not hard. And that's all. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Sorry. I was trying to get a story to upload and it wasn't working. Um, that's okay. so I love that. I love that. I love that because I feel like like she said, we all have the same opportunity, you guys, like we all have the same one. It's just a matter of what you're willing to do for it. And I don't know if any of you saw my post today. Um, it was basically about like, it was basically about working for the unexpected. Okay. So working for things that are going to come up in your life that you don't even know about right now. And I think that's really important. And kind of what I wanted to, we still have like 30 minutes, but kind of what I wanted to drive home tonight was that you know, there, you may be struggling to find a why. I think, I think Rachel Jones always says it best when she's like, I love her cause she's always so honest. She's like, you know, my kids aren't enough for my why, which sounds so terrible, but she doesn't mean it that way. What she means is like, she needs something bigger because she's always going to make sure that she can provide for them. But um, and I might be butchering this, but you can't just say like, my kids are my why, because then they become your excuse when, you know, they didn't nap all day, like for me or something like that. You know, you need something that you're working towards that you can always, um, be working for something that you don't even know is going to happen. So for me, that was my brother going to prison. That was him having this catastrophic event happen where we needed money and we needed a lot of it and we needed it right now. And, um, we didn't have it. <laughs> you know, we didn't have it at the time. And I promised myself and I promised my dad and I promised my family that that would never, ever happen again. And was that all on me? No. But what it showed me was that I could work for something that, that may never happen, but I could work for something to make sure that if it did happen, I had enough resources to take care of it, or I knew enough people to take care of it. You know, like now, you know, maybe I would have known, you know, somebody that could have helped him, a, a lawyer that could have helped him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to be continuing to grow as a person through all of this as well. So, um, mainly what I wanted to say is I want you guys to write down tonight, um, what you're going to work towards. Okay. If that's like, if the biggest emergency that could happen right now, and I don't want you guys to think negatively because that's like awful. I don't want you to think about the worst thing that could happen to you. What I want you to think about is like, an emergency. Do you have enough in savings for an emergency? Okay. So like a tire blows. Um, <laughs> that's the only one I have right now. No, a tire blows. Um, something happens to your teeth and you have to go to the dentist and like pay money out of pocket. Um, and a trip to the ER, uh, like so many things that could happen on it in a flash of an eye or, but even, wow, I cannot even speak in the blink of an eye. They could happen. And we're sitting here like, I don't know, like, I know I need to get to work, but I just have no motivation. I don't know what I'm working for. I just feel like I don't know where to start. I don't know this. I don't know this. I don't know this. Stop. Because there's going to be something in your life and I don't want to be negative about it. Like I said before, but there will be a time where you're like, wow, I wish I would have worked harder. I wish I would have worked harder at something that I know could have saved me in this situation that I am in. Okay. So Tonight, I want you guys to really think bigger and I want you to think about some sacrifices that you can make to make sure that this business is a number one priority. Obviously, your family comes first. Obviously, there are things that you're going to need to prioritize, but when it comes to your business, you have to show up every single day. Okay. And that doesn't mean that you can never take a day off because we need, like, we need personal days. We need to be able to like regroup for ourselves. For me, that's Sunday, but you best believe that I still get up a post. You know what I mean? Like I, those are effortless to me. That's effortless. And if that's not effortless to you, that's okay. It took me like two and a half years to make that effortless. Um, you just need to do more trainings on posting. You just need to do more trainings on something so simple, like spending the day with my family without any, um, without any guilt, you know, whatever, like you guys know how to make posts. But my point is just that um, make sure that you're working now 
for what could come later. And um, Lisette said, I got an LC from a post today. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Um, Alexa said, my daughter will always be there. She will always love me and she will always uh, be taken care of. I love this, Rochelle. Um, so anyways, just make sure that you guys are working for that greater good. And maybe it, maybe it is just to come home to your babies. Maybe it is just to pay off some debt and that's okay. None of that is just to do it right. None of that is like, like downgraded at all. Um, I'm just saying that I want you guys to find something that's big enough that like when you get tired at night, cause I battle this all the time, especially when I'm not exaggerating. Huntley wakes up two hours on the dot that she has since she was born. Like it's not, we've tried everything in this world and that is just what she does. And there are so many nights where it's 11 o'clock at night and I am messaging and I'm falling asleep and I'm like, it's okay. You can go to sleep. Here's what's weird. Something happened today in my business that really reignited my fire. Something happened that was like, what are you doing? Like sleep is not an option. Like you cannot be sleeping. Like you have to be working. And it's been a long time in my business since I've been so fired up. Like I'm always fired up, but it's been a long time since I felt so fired up that I don't even want to sleep. Like I don't even want to go to bed. I want to just work my butt off because what's to come and what this team is so deserving of, like that's the kind of fire that you want burning inside you. And when that happens, you sign people. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about just like, just get them in the system. What I'm talking about is something changed up here today. Something was like, Hey, Rochelle, remember that time that like you are inspiring others and you chose to do this because you love to help other people. Like, why are you in your head? I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I'm talking to somebody. Why are you in your head? Get out of it. You know how to do this business. It's very simple. And just like Ashley said, find somebody who's a top income earner. If it's not, if it's not anybody on this team, go find somebody that you resonate with. You know, there's top income earners out there that are absolutely nothing like me. They actually get ready on it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but they actually get ready on a daily basis and like do something with their hair and makeup. Um, they actually get dressed and shower once every <laughs> one of them is Brittany Hayes and she always looks bomb and she's got five kids and they probably never sleep. And I'm over here like I have one and she never sleeps and I still can't get myself together. But my point of all of this is to just make sure that you guys are not making excuses and that you're doing everything that you can to find that fire again, ignite it because it's different for everybody and don't like hush it and don't dull it because it's different than somebody else's. Okay. Um, I think that's another thing too, is it's so easy to compare. It's so easy to compare in the business that we are in because so-and-so started at the same time as me or so-and-so started after me and she's above me or she had workers on her team or she has a better leader than me or she has this or she has that. It is so easy for us to do that. But again, you're in your head. You're in your head because this can be done with you. All of this can be done with you. A hundred percent of it. Now, of course you need to enroll distributors and of course you need to enroll loyal customers. But if you're enrolling distributors with a crap mindset, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything because you're not instilling that fire. You're not instilling that simplicity of the business. Instead, you're just like, not, you're not, you're not leading from the front. You're not showing them what to do. You're not showing them how to be excited about this business. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention tonight and then Ash can talk or, or we can let you guys go a little bit early, whatever. But one thing that I wanted to say is like something that I really overthink is blowing people up. Like on, on my stories, I think like, man, my coffee story sometimes is like 20 slides long. And I'm like, well, I've still got like over a thousand views. So I guess people like want to see them. But at the same time, I'm like, sometimes they're so long that I like overthink it. Right. And then today I did like a crap ton of, um, I did a pyramid scheme story that was like kind of funny. Somebody posted about it and I thought it was hilarious that it said like, um, if you haven't, or <laughs> Oh my gosh. What is it? It's like, is Jess on here? I don't know if she's on, but she's the one who shared it with me. And it was basically like, if it's been a year or all my friends who started a pyramid scheme a year ago, aren't rich yet or something like that. And so I kind of did like a funny on my story because I was like, <laughs> I mean, if you joined a pyramid scheme, you wouldn't be rich. You'd be in jail because those are illegal. But <laughs> 
joke's on you. Anyway, so I did one of those and it was like longer, right? And then me and B made our collagen tonight. And what's funny is I already have messages. I was going through them as Ashley was talking. I already have messages from people asking about my collagen. I never do collagen stories. I always just do coffee stories in the morning. I never talk about my skincare. I never talk about how I use cleanser religiously. I never talk about how it's literally the only thing that Huntley's ever had on her skin is our cleanser. One time and one time only we were at grandma's house and we swapped it and used something else and she broke out everywhere. Like the cleanser is like we have a million of it, but I never talk about it. So my point of this was a lot of the times I get scared that I'm going to be like this walking billboard of like being salesy and being like all up in their face with like all these products that I'm using, but it's actually the opposite. When you're more excited about what you're doing and you're actually showing them that you're using the products, it doesn't matter how many stories you have going up. It's, it's just a matter of who's watching them. And so somebody might click through my coffee story because they're tired of seeing it for an entire year. And they might get to the pyramid scheme part and be like, wait, I thought that's what she did was a pyramid scheme. Like now I'm kind of interested. Now I'm going to message her about it. Or they might click through that one and be like, what's this orange delicious creamsicle drink that she just made? Like you don't know who's watching and you don't know who wants to see what. So don't decide for them and don't overthink the content that you're putting out there. Just do it. People want to see your life. Okay. So that's a whole nother thing on like building your brand. I know this zoom was like literally all over the place, but I feel like sometimes we just need to talk. I feel like sometimes we just need to like chat about how we're all feeling and what's working for us. And, um, one last thing I'm pretty sure everybody knows that I've been doing, and it's literally the only thing I've been doing for three to four months. And on average, I sign at least 15 to 20 distributors every single month. And it's solely from sending the, um, Hap script on Instagram. So this is what I send. I'm a positive. You guys all have this, but let's just double check. So I send this and actually I don't, I personally don't send that B sent out. What did he say? Ash, like 65 messages today. He said, he goes, I counted. I sent out 65 messages. I was like, how did you not get blocked yet? Whenever I message, I get, I seem to get blocked and he's just like sending over there like a madman. Um, so anyway, this is the message that we send out and then they come back most of the time and say one of three things. Either I'm not interested, or sorry, <laughs> let me get myself together. Either I'm personally interested, what is it about? Or I don't know of anybody, but I'll ask around or like, no thanks. Okay. So the last two that I don't know of anybody, but I'll ask around or the no thanks, this is what I send. And then I send them my story hap, which is basically a, a, a an image that I made in over that says, um, who's looking to make an extra income from home or who's looking to make an extra two to $300 a month from home. My friend Rochelle is looking for people who want to text info for more info. Okay. It's literally that simple. And you guys can do that like, um, in an app or you can do it right off of Instagram and screenshot it and like share that with people. So, um, anyways, this is what I've been doing for months. Okay. So I have a lot of people that come to me and they're like, this script's not working. Like, what are you doing now? And I'm like, listen, I don't give up on things very easily until it stops working. And we're talking mass messages. You guys, I don't send out, excuse me. I don't send out 30 messages a day. That's not enough. That's not enough. I, I don't know. Like I can't sugarcoat that any less more. I don't know. It's not enough. You have to be sending out more. If you want to be signing distributors, you have to send out more than 30 messages a day. You need to be sending out upwards of a hundred. If you don't have that many people that you need to be sending or that you, that you can be sending to, then your like majority of your time is building your network. Okay. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, that's what's working for me. And that's what I do. And if they're interested in what I do, then I just go into the, um, what's it called? You know, telling them about the opportunity. Ash, do you have anything else to add? Um, not a whole lot. All I'm going to say is, so since Rochelle's been um, here in town and I've been able to actually like spend a lot of time with her, I literally will take her phone and like just start scrolling through her messages because I'm like, you're lying. Like there is something different that you do that you're not telling us because we all know the girl is a freaking signing machine. And so 
I seriously will just take her phone and look. And uh, nope, she literally sends that exact message. It's just she sends it to 8 million people a day. No, I'm kidding. It's not 8 million, but you get the point. It's just what I was saying before about a numbers game. And um, again, like whenever I see that and I like physically have her phone in my hand and I'm like, oh, well, yeah, that's what I have so many people do. It's like, okay, well, crap. So I just need to set my game up because why not? Like if she signed to L- two DT today, like I can do the same thing. I can, I have the same script as her. So anyways, um, that's it. I don't, I'm not going to talk too much more because I keep coughing and it's annoying me. Um, but that's fine. Cause now we can all get to work. Let's see how many messages should we send out before we go to bed? I know it's different time zones, but I say, uh, I say, well, let's match B 65. He did 65 okay. today. He's going to do more before bed, but let's, ma- Oh, Krista says a hundred. All right. Let's match it. A hundred for sure. Okay. Listen, listen, if you're brand new, don't freak out. I see some eyes getting real big. Um, <laughs> if you're new, it's okay. We're not talking to you. You don't have to go message a hundred people yet because you need to stick to your goal. What just message your enroller after this and don't be freaked out. I promise you it's okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Don't this be scared. Is for, this is just for us being crazy and trying to like get rich tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I like those some people on here already are, but I'm trying like to get the rest. Of us. Um, <clears throat> all right. So how many, how many, how many Oh, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Yeah. 100. If you're, blocked, if you're getting blocked, switch over to Facebook. That's what I do. Still make sure you get your hundred out. So it doesn't matter what platform you're using. So if you're getting blocked on Instagram, switch over to Facebook and you guys, this doesn't necessarily have to be new messages either. Um, especially if you have some following up to do. Go. Oh, well, you could have said that. I was sweating. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's an aggressive number at 10, 15 PM, but okay. Hey, I can do it if it's including follow-ups. No, including <sighs> follow-ups because I think it's important to really stir the dust. Um, if you stir the dust right now, especially at nighttime, everybody's going to be responding to you in the morning when they wake up. And I just love that. Just really. Oh, by the way, stirring the dust, you guys, a script that I would use for that is like literally as simple as, um, Hey love, I just started a new 90 day challenge for our coffee. All you do is swap your coffee for my fat burning coffee every day. Are you interested in doing that? Now what this does, even if they were a potential distributor, what this does is it like, it like sparks their interest now. So you were talking to them about the business and now you just switch things up to the coffee. They're going to say they're interested in it. Okay. Because that's what we're going to say. They're interested in it. Okay. We, we say we need these good positive vibes out there. We need to be speaking these truths. We need to be speaking them out loud because I totally believe what you put out there is what you get back. Okay. So they're going to be responding. They're going to be interested in what you're saying, right? Then you're going to go through that conversation of like, you know, how much the coffee is, all this stuff. And they're going to say, yes. And what you're going to say is, okay, wait a second. Weren't we talking about the business before though? Because just for a couple dollars more, you could join me in the business and you're going to get some coffee in your kit. Okay. So at, at, you guys got to go watch that Jade Hooper video. If you haven't watched it, it's called stirring the dust. It's incredible. Um, I don't know if she actually talks about, yeah, I think she does talk about turning them into a distributor still. Cause she turns everybody into a distributor. Um, and that's how it should be. You guys distributors bring in volume. If you're brand new, then don't listen to a word I just said, because you want to get your first, <laughs> you want to get your first four loyal customers. Like it's the last thing you'll ever do because you want to get that hundred dollar shopping spree. That's so important before you can move on. You've got to get your first four. So if you're overwhelmed by this, because I know I threw a lot at you guys tonight, me and Ash, um, if you're overwhelmed by this, I better have a message in my inbox right this second before we get off that says, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Can you explain this, this, and this, or I'm kind of overwhelmed, but I'm excited, whatever. I better get a message about it because I don't want anybody getting off here and getting discouraged because of things that we said, we are seasoned DTs here. We are giving you all of what's working for us. Some of you might be brand new and you're like, heck yeah, I'm going to send out a hundred messages. That's great. That's how I was. When I was brand new, I would do whatever it took to whatever it took. I was watching other top leaders. I was watching them. I was seeing what they were doing. And I was like, I'm going to act like her because she's doing something right. And you copy the right cats and eventually you'll be exactly where we are today. So I love you guys. We're going to end it here. 
And I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys have an amazing night. Bye, Bye guys. Good night. Feel better, Ash.